So today I'm going to be talking about some trendy shoes that I've been seeing on my timeline or just my everyday life that I do want to talk about. It's not particularly for fall 2024, but it might have been, I don't know when they released them, but these are the ones that are on my radar that I might be getting for the fall 2024. I just want to say that I do have a full-time job, so I'm not like all up into fashion. So whenever I do have a chance, I do look at it. I might be a little bit late with like, oh, this came out last year, but it might be popping now to me. So that's what I wanted to say. And then also when it comes to like, for example, I won't be talking about like the Sambas, like everybody's talking about them. The Adidas Sambas is cool. It's nice. They're having their resurgence. I actually do have a pair that they're still white. So that's how much I really, I don't want to say I don't care for them, but they're not my style. They look cool but personally not for me. I feel like they're very narrow and uh, comfortability wise. Personally for me, I feel like I can't walk in them for ages, you know? I do like shoes that I can walk comfortable in them. And for me, the older I do get, I feel like comfortability is playing like a major role into my buying decisions. Let's get into it. The first one that I've been seeing is like this mock toe upper and then the soles are just like normal, whatever soles that they are. For example, the ones that I've seen are the Doc Martens. Is it Lowell? Something like that, but they look so nice. I definitely like them a lot. And with those, I feel like I've been seeing more and more brands kind of emulating the same thing. I don't know who've done it first and things like that, but it's somewhat like a new design that I haven't really seen. And for me personally, I do like that low cut whenever it comes to shoes. I don't know, for me, it just gives it that extra oomph, you know? And I do feel like these ones, you can style them very well. Every time I see them on feet and things like that, they just look very nice. And I like that more and more brands are basically putting their own style into it. I've seen the suede ones. I've seen the leather ones and they do look nice. So for me personally, I just might have to buy one. I'm not too sure, but I just want to test them out just to see how they are compared to other types of shoes. But my only concern is, are they going to be like compared to like the Clark Willoughby's? Like, are they their comp competition? Because for me now, I feel like the Clark Willoughby's, they've gotten like a good tight grip on shoes like that. You know, they're like the A1. The only thing with the Clarks that I'm struggling with right now is the soles. The soles get dirty and they look like embarrassing dirty. I don't know why, but for me, I don't like that. Next is like a combination of like shoes that I've seen. They're not like clogs, but they're not slippers. And they combine them with like, sneakers kind of they're more like um i would say for example if you look at the uggs what is it the testman i mean uggs have been out there for a while but i feel like more and more company are trying to compete with that style for example another one would be the hoka the uh primo the aura primo those personally you might see a review on the channel because i feel like those are amazing and then i've checked on youtube there's not a lot of reviews on them and I do like them. They do look nice and they're like a pug and they're just like ugly cute. You know, whenever females say they want like a medium ugly guy, those are like the shoes that I think of. They're like medium ugly, but they look very nice and uh, they look very comfortable too. Like you get the best of both worlds and it's something that you can take out, you know, they can be, I won't say formal, but once you take them out, people are not going to be like, oh, this guy has slides on. They're just very nice. And this combination is what I've been waiting for. And for me personally, I'm going to look more into it. I've seen multiple different brands that is trying to tote that line of like, these are not really slippers. These are not really clogs. They're just like a little level above clogs and a little level below sneakers. And for me personally, I feel like they fit my style when I'm not going to something formal. So I can wear those out comfortably and not feel like, oh man, I have slippers on or I have like clogs on or something like that. It's just a little bit formal. And uh, personally, I like them. And then lastly, I want to talk about this. I feel like they came out last year, the um, Uggs. Like Uggs are finally making shoes for guys. I just want to say, if you feel offended, I understand, but this is my opinion. And I feel like now they're making shoes that are more universal for like guys can wear them comfortably and females can wear them too. And what I'm talking about is, I think it's called the Tasman hybrids. Like those look so nice, like the weather ceiling and everything. I personally feel like I might get a pair for Christmas. Hopefully they go on sale. And yes, I like them. They just look very unique. They look very different. And then with the 
winter time, I feel like they will be nice just to keep your feet snug and all of that. Me personally, I did feel like back in the past, Uggs, they weren't really my style. Like they just had like a special niche for like mainly females and the brand was just going down that line. But now it slowly is becoming more unisex, which I do like. I do feel like they do have their space. And with Uggs, I know it's different, but it's something that I'm willing to try. And then also they do have, what is it called? The Venture Days or something like that. That one looks good too. I feel like I want to try those two, maybe compare the two to see the pros and the cons and all of that. So stay tuned. We're about to go on adventure in the next couple of videos. But so far, these are the styles that I've seen that pique my interest. I don't want to say it's only for fall, but 2024 kind of, they pick, pique my interest. Maybe 2023 has started, but for me, I have a full-time job, y'all. So um, I do come every now and again just to check and see what's hot, what's not. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.